Hey guys, welcome to the show. It's Big Game Hunters. It is Wednesday. It's click, Jason Burrard. Landon Hood. And we're bringing you a show today about Vancouver's tech talent market. What gives? You know, Vancouver is one of those big hubs in Canada. Vancouver, Toronto, Montreal, where there's a lot of jobs. Technology is absolutely Particularly booming Particularly in Vancouver. But yeah. it is getting more and more difficult to find that tech talent. So Landon, tell me, what gives? Oh, I mean, there's so many reasons that it's tough. I mean, first of all, these types of jobs are very specific. To find that skill set, to find the right, uh, you know, exposure to versus the various technologies is really critical. And uh, to be, the bottom line is this, when you're competing against a market like San Francisco, when you're competing against the United States dollar, when you're competing against these big, established, reputable companies, you know, the Microsofts, the Amazons, all of them down there that are based down there and have a really established infrastructure down there, Vancouver just doesn't really have that, 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 that scalability yet. We have a hoot suite, we have a few you know pretty yeah, big tech I, companies i think hootsuite's one of those yeah. one of like the only companies in canada yeah. this is not a knock on any but other they companies, have exponentially but. you know way way more big established companies and that's where the big that's where you see the big talent come from and then that's really where you see like the startup talent come from is they'll leave those big companies and they'll start their own you know startups yeah. and that's where it's sort of like it's like you know it's sort of a, a cycle whereas we didn't we in vancouver we don't have those big guys to really branch talent out from yeah. you know i think it's uh the average st company the average tech company in vancouver has less than 10 employees yeah it's very common you're yeah, in a yeah, lot yeah. of guys in their basement a lot of guys doing that and it's, that's great and sometimes you can, can do that but it's not really conducive for in the long run a city you know establishing and growing talent yeah and i think in such a competitive you know market space where you always have to be sort of innovative and changing the game it's like well how do you find the lebron james of java right. how do you find the Sidney crosby of ios <laughs> yeah. right like how are you going to get those guys on your team in order to like ob obtain that market share that you're going for right like there's a lot of amazing companies in in vancouver and you know the tech market in, in uh, vancouver alone or bc employs eighty nine thousand people right like there are a lot of jobs but the thing about tech talent and the reason that it's so hard to find is that well first of all there's very specific skill sets that are required yep. and those are only so few and far between and that's a result of supply and demand for many of the years right right another thing about the tech talent is that they can choose where they want to go right so why would I come work for you? Right. I mean, we have benefits. Vancouver is a beautiful city. We got the mountains. We've got the ocean. But I even talk about within but, Vancouver. But, but even yeah, even so, it's still. I mean, there's various challenges that Vancouver has. The real estate costs. Yeah. That's. I mean, that's tough. I mean, you have those in San Francisco too. But the salaries don't really match. I mean, you look at the salaries in San Francisco versus the salary in Vancouver. Not even taking into account the dollar difference, which these close. days is getting worse and worse. And they're just not even close. So yeah. that's. I mean, that's a huge part about attracting talents. But again, I mean, a lot of these companies and when. You you look at it from an executive level perspective and trying to bring in the big executives that can help grow these companies from the small guys in their parents' basement to the big, you know, scaled companies is you want somebody who's done it before. You know, you never it's very, very rare to find somebody from the first time growing a company into a big thing. There's failures. We talked about this re in a recent learn. episode. Yeah. Failure, failure, yeah, yeah, you have yeah. to have failure. And that's we're seeing a lot of startups in Vancouver where the people haven't had that exposure. Number one thing we hear from the clients that we're working with and the software companies is we want somebody who's done this before. We want somebody who's taken a tech company public and grown it. And you're just not you don't get that talent in Vancouver. Yeah, you get that in the right, US. But yeah. it's funny because even a company, like I said, like what I was alluding to earlier is like Hootsuite is probably the only company, again, not a knock on any other companies that is truly reflective of like a Silicon Valley type right. of company. Like this big tech beast, yeah. rapid, rapid growth, you know, international, global scale. And even them, they are having, I, for that company to have a challenge bringing in a CFO is yeah. beyond me, right? Yeah. Like they, but again, it comes down to like, we have two major tech hubs that we're, that we're really competing with on the West Coast. So bringing someone from the East Coast over the West Coast is hard enough task, it, do, it does happen, it happens a lot, but you know, from the West Coast, we've got really Seattle and sort of the Valley, San Francisco area. Yeah. Um, and, and there's a lot of tech companies there and a lot of lucrative talent in the States that you know a lot of Vancouver companies would like to bring up. But yeah. there's also so many factors, like you said, that it yeah. takes just to get them over there. And, and now, like I said, the Canadian American dollar exchanges is, is it's nearly impossible. It's true, and I mean, immigration laws, sponsoring laws are actually become, there's there's new ones that have come into effect in Canada that have made it even harder to bring up people from the US. Yeah. Uh, you know, the big companies don't, you know, the big scaled companies like Microsoft and, you know, even companies like Uber that are new, but, uh, you know, big, massive investments in the US, you know, more investment firms down there pumping money into them, is they, you know, they can find ways past that red tape because they're bigger companies and they can they can sponsor people on a bigger level. Whereas for us, it's really hard in Canada to, to get that paperwork done and oh, to really man, have it make sense. Oh, man, it's a nightmare. It's yeah. not even 
even the hard. It's a no, nightmare. Exactly. It's expensive. Like yeah. if you're a company of like eight to twelve people and you're trying to build a team, like and it's a, it's a lot of tech focus. Like good luck. Right. And yeah. I don't. And I mean that sincerely. Like no. whoever is doing it and does build it from that you know eight person company to two hundred. Like no, I don't think we truly understand how impressive that feat is, especially in today's talent market. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm thinking about a company like Groupland that just raised ten point two million. Right. Uh, a company of like ten employees. That now they have an opportunity there because clearly the people that are backing them see the the, the disruptive potential of that that's company, true. and that's going to be one of the ways to get around it, right? Is raise more money because you're yeah. going to be have to you're going to have to put out that money to get that talent, right? You have to find somebody that believes in your vision, so you have to have you know an entrepreneur, a visionary leader that can really communicate what you know what differentiates them and why they're you know in, on an awesome company, and you're seeing that more and more. I mean, it helps that Hootsuite's been around a little bit, and you can get some people branching out of big companies like that. But and there are you know more and more investment firms that are taking a hard look at Vancouver and the startup talents in Vancouver and the companies that are growing out of there. But you really do need, uh, you know, if you're going to be a small company and you haven't had that experience doing it in the past, you don't have a big resume, you just have some guys that are growing it. You have to have a really unique idea and the ability to sell it. And, you know, you know, it just like in the show Silicon Valley on HBO, sometimes it can be really hard for the you know the tech guys to communicate that. So that's why it's why important somebody like Steve Jobs has that strong visionary and communication ability to really inspire people and inspire investors. Yeah, exactly, and inspire people to like join on that mission yeah. and vision. Like recruitment is so expensive, right? Whether mm-hmm. if you use a recruitment agency or not, it is a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of resources. Oh, yeah. So I empathize with any sort of the the startups trying to find that talent. A lot of the times when they raise that significant capital it goes towards building the team no, exactly. to even get the product into the marketplace right yeah. and that's just the nature of the game so i guess the ways around the tech talent market in, in vancouver one is raise more money duh right <laughs> uh i think another yeah. one i think the most important one is really creating that culture or uh, company brand that people resonate towards right because like i said they can choose where you want to go so if i'm the uh, the the number one Android developer in Vancouver, well, I can choose where I wanna go. So if compensation's kinda gonna be around the same ballpark or an extra 5,000 here, 10,000 here, you know, what am I truly gonna resonate towards? Maybe yeah. it's to a company that really values their employees' time. Maybe it's flex work, unlimited vacay. That's a popular thing too, right? Yeah. And I think the And the ability thing, to grow, you know, exposure to various technologies yeah, and the ability to- He got my point, he got, yeah, he got <laughs> Exactly, because you know, you want the opportunity to fail too, because sometimes, you know, you join a software company that's a little bit too strict on, you know, the code a little bit if there's some mistakes being made then they you know they hit hard whereas you re- you know developers really need that freedom to be able to you know test new technologies try what's out there try the latest stuff learn on the job that's attracted to a lot of developers and that's yeah. attracted to the best developers yeah get social too you know yeah. like i think uh i i, I guess you know yeah, yeah you gotta get on that you gotta get on the even the twitter grind even though twitter uh, i don't know how long it's gonna be around no offense but uh <laughs> oh, well, it'll, it'll be around it just probably won't grow as fast yeah as yeah yeah we'll yeah. see we'll see where it ends up but yeah. uh you know a lot of twitter fa- facebook is kind of like it's a bit dated but you know a lot of people in there instagram's a big one i think that creates a pretty pretty uh recognizable social brand and then of course the big one is linkedin but even just like getting social interacting with people getting people excited about potential opportunities or job opportunities that come up with a company that's yeah i know exactly that's in companies it's very important to get out there advertise you know what makes them special advertise why it's a great working environment and that's why i mentioned meetups that's why it's one of the first things i say to clients who are in the tech industry is get involved in meetups get involved in bringing developers you know pay for the beer, pay for the whatever, take them out to the bar, yeah. you know, meet meet up with everybody and sort of talk to them about the vision. Have one of you, have your leaders, if not your CEO, have some of your leaders, your, your guys out there can really communicate what the job's all about, the, the advantages of working for the company and find people that fit within your culture. Because that's, I mean, the bottom line is if you're a startup software development company and it's going to be eight to 20 of you and you want to grow, eventually grow big, the people who started at first, you need to really be a tight knit group unit because these people are getting on the ground floor and you know, those are the people that are probably going to make a lot of money. So you need to find people that mesh with your personality that mesh with your vision and met with of course the technical that's the other aspect of everything is that we're not just looking for tech talent we're looking for personalities and we're looking for culture fits and it makes it even more and more and more difficult Um, so what are some companies that people should watch close out the year who do you think well I mean there's a few in your opinion who who are you looking well Groupland just got the massive investments I mean that's not that huge thing they're going to be huge uh, I mean based in Vancouver I mean some of the things things happening in Vancouver these days is some of the big guys actually have moved up to Vancouver I mean you've seen we've seen 
Microsoft and Amazon just launched yep. you know offices in the last year year and a half in Sony Vancouver. Sony Entertainment uh, yeah the, I believe the, 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 the Sony's got studio one studio that they have yeah. they just launched it here Microsoft well. just invested in the Microsoft Excellence Center in okay. Vancouver which is gonna you know it's they're finding ways to bring international talent to this in, to this center and so it's not necessarily conducive for homegrown local talent but at the same time they're really investing money into finding the you know some of the great tech minds bringing them into Vancouver growing the sort of the area and that can only mean good things for the companies you know that spread out from you know in Vancouver yeah yeah, yeah. I think for, for me I'm, uh, the, the companies I'm seeing you know really blow up Cymax is one of them right really blowing up uh, so I'd like to see how they close out the year um, Procurify was one that came up on the radar they raised uh, some significant capital they have a really interesting platform uh, for people that are in procurement really it's it just like makes it it's a great tool right, right. Uh, clearly sold last year but shoes.com say I think it's the same founder I hope I have that right yeah. um, that's an interesting one for me um, and uh, it's interesting to see what's gonna happen with slack they are the hottest startup in yeah, the world. Slack, that was what I was thinking. They, slack you know, really Stuart Butt Butterfield's from here um, and uh, they're building out their team here. So it'd be interesting to see where their office really ends up, how big the team gets and what that's going to do to the talent market and how that's going to continually can only evolve. Help. Can only help. Yeah. I think it can only help. I think it's only going to get more difficult. You know, that's why you know we're in business, and and that's one of the fastest growing you know arms of our business. If you are a company looking for tech talent, we are your guys. We are the big game hunters. We, we spent find months it. finding these we guys. Will, <laughs> we got them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We will. We I will, know them all. <laughs> we will. We won't stop. We won't yeah. stop till we find them. It's magnasearchgroup.tv hashtag magnonair. Big game hunters. It's Wednesday. Tune in on. Friday, we've got a great interview under the spotlight. Check us out on LinkedIn, YouTube, SoundCloud, Stitcher. We really want you to subscribe to the network because we're, what we're doing is we're releasing this exclusive content to really help people get ahead, whether you're a candidate or a client. Um, and uh, we love when you tune in and, and comment below. Engage, engage. engage. Yeah, it's all about questions. engaging, baby. It's we all about enticing, comments. engagement, yeah. and we'll yeah. see you next week. Yeah.